welcome to the show Playing With Food. I'm your host, Liz Corbett. When I was a child, I did in fact play with my food a lot, and I'm still doing it. There are so many ways to take party foods and even simple meals to the next level. If you are feeling uninspired, or if you are domestically challenged, it's okay, because if you stay right here, I am going to share some tips and tricks. It is all about maximum flair with minimal fuss. That'll be our little secret. On today's show, we're gonna make two simple and delicious appetizers, coconut shrimp with pineapple jalapeno sauce and prosciutto wrapped melon bites, some fresh flavors to bring tropical sunshine for your next get together. Let's get started. The very first thing that we are going to do is make a nice little sauce for our shrimp and it only has three ingredients. We're gonna have about a half a cup, and this is how I cook, I don't measure anything, but don't tell. Half cup of pineapple preserves, and I am putting this, yes, in a martini glass. About a half cup. We're going tropical for this. And lime juice. An important thing about your limes is you want them room temperature and you want to give them a good little roll on the counter to break up the membranes. You'll get a lot more juice out of them. That's your little tip for the day. So we're just going to go right into here about a tablespoon, two tablespoons. That will cut the sweetness just a little bit. Our third ingredient that we're gonna put into this is hot peppers. So I've got some jalapenos here. You can do serrano if you want. And I'm avoiding the seeds because that is the very hot part. I like things a little bit milder. And just a simple little dice. The smaller you go, the more you'll be able to mix it in. You don't want it too chunky or someone's gonna get a big surprise when they take a bite of this. So teaspoon, tablespoon, Whatever floats your boat. This is all about relaxing and having fun in your kitchen. Look at that. Give it a little stir and your sauce is done. Now let's move on to our featured guest, which is of course the humble shrimp. These are actually not so humble. These are quite large. Um, I would call these colossal. I don't know about you. There's probably about 16, 20 of these maybe in a pound. And I'm gonna show you really quickly, again, you wanna use raw shrimp because when you are baking as we're going to be, you wanna start with them fresh. They're already scored along the back and it's kind of like peeling maybe a pistachio, just a little scarier because there's legs. I don't know if you can see that up close. You wanna hang on to the tail though because that gives you a handle. Now you might wonder, why is this this weird gray color? That's how they look, and they turn pink when you cook them. Look at that, naked and ready to get dipped. So we're gonna go skinny dipping with the naked shrimp in some cornstarch. Because it's a little slimy and wet, you wanna put it into the cornstarch first, a little dust bath, then into the egg white. And the egg white is gonna have almost a little bit of a meringue effect on this, then triple dip into the coconut. Look at that. That is a very, very large shrimp. Okay, and done. Onto a baking sheet parchment paper. Let's see if we can get another one here for you real quick. Now, if you've never peeled and deveined a shrimp, you don't have to be intimidated or scared. They're gonna be, uh, you can get them already done or you can just be brave and do it yourself. You want a very sharp knife to go along the back. There's gonna be a really dark, little vein and it's gonna hang out right here. And all you have to do is just grab the edge of it with your knife, it's gonna come right out super, super easy. So let's give this one, oh, he has a couple little legs hanging on there. Not giving up easily. Give that a little dust bath in the uh, cornstarch. This is a skinny recipe, which means that it's guilt-free, it's not fried. It also means you can have twice as many. So a little dip in the coconut there and onto the baking sheet it goes. So this is gonna be a 400 degree oven and you wanna check on them about halfway through. I would set a timer for seven, give them a little turn and then check them again at the end. When they're white in the middle, it means they're all done. And this is what they're gonna look like when they come out of the oven. They turn that beautiful pink. Doing them on the parchment paper helps them not stick and it gives you that nice golden color. So we've got Appetizer number one, which was very fast, you must admit. Now we're gonna move on to our melon and prosciutto. Now, if you've not had prosciutto before, it is delicious. It is a 
dried ham. It's cured and dried, not cooked. Um, and we're going to wrap these around some nice, fresh cantaloupe. You don't have to be real precise when you're doing the uh, chunks on this. Any size you would like. You want them, you know, bite size for your guests. Make it comfortable for them. And again, they don't have to be perfect or uniform unless you want them to be. It's all about making it easy. And now watch this. Talk about simple. Two things. We've got a melon. We've got prosciutto. Gonna wrap that baby right around there. Here's the most important part. You gotta have fun picks. Stay stocked up on those. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And you wouldn't necessarily think of the ham with the melon, but it's a really beautiful combination. Sweet and juicy and salty are fabulous together. So we have another one here. And you can see this is really easy to do. It's going to take you no time at all to come up with some fabulous little snacks for your guests. Let's do another one. Uh-oh, slippery guy. you got to watch out. They're going to get away from you. Actually, I'm glad that happened with that and not the shrimp. That would have been frightening. All right. Give that a little wrap. And maybe one more. Then I'm going to show you something fancy that we can do with our shrimp that makes it stand out. Your friends are going to be impressed. All right. Remember that sauce we made over here? Our three ingredients. Here comes the martini glass. And this is what we're going to do with it. Don't just put it on a platter and make it boring. Make it fun. Ooh, look at that. And they are going to rest right on the edge like this. Look at the size of these things. You might have to change your numbers on how many per person because these are huge. Isn't that fun? All right. And you've got your shrimp. Now you could do a big glass like this. You could even do those little mini ones like you can buy for um, the sample parties that a lot of people are doing now. You could get the little mini glass and have individual ones for everyone. So they just grab their glass. They've got their uh, dip in it already. And they're good to go, individual servings. Let's see how many we can get on her without it tipping over. All right. So again, very, very simple. It's all about doing things ahead of time. You want to do these. Have your, your prepped ingredients ready to go, um, everything laid out. And they're only going to take about 15 minutes. So you can pop these in while you're greeting your guests, or even better, have somebody else do it for you. And it's easy, no fuss. I've got probably room for another melon bite here. This is really hard to not eat this as I'm hungry. All right. And look at that. And I'm going to keep building here. We're going to live dangerously. If you're not a big fan of the pineapple, you could do a little twist on it and orange marmalade. How interesting would that be? You could throw in maybe a little bit of uh, horseradish or some spicy mustard just to change it up a little bit but I like the pineapple a lot because we are going with the tropical theme here. Is that not absolutely beautiful? So you've got them all displayed in your glass and it's not very long at all before you've got something really really impressive to show your guests. And it's light, it's simple, it's nothing complicated it's low fat, it's high protein. You cannot go wrong with fixing this. All right, I hope you're gonna be trying these. Um, again, very simple to do. It's all about no stress, easy, um, and give it a whirl. I'd love to hear from you. As you can see, it's extremely easy to make a beautiful appetizer, and I would love to hear from you, like I said, if you try these at home. To find the recipes and more, visit playingwithfood.tv. And during the break coming up, we're going to hear from Barbara at a local seafood market, a little bit more about shrimp and other seafood. After the break, join me and a guest for some creative ways to dress up your table. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Liz Corbett, host of the TV show Playing With Food. Have you ever made a shrimp appetizer? 
with raw shrimp. Are you afraid of raw shrimp? They're so cute, these little crustaceans, and they're delicious too. So we are gonna take the mystery out of fixing fresh seafood while we visit our local grocery store. Here we are at ShopRite, Miller Farms Family Markets, and we're gonna to talk to Barbara in the seafood department. Inquiring minds want to know more about shrimp and other seafood delights. Hi Barbara, thanks for being with us. Thank you Liz, good morning. Good morning. We have a few basic questions for you that the general public wants to know about coming into a seafood department at their local grocery store. Okay. And specifically shrimp, because I'm gonna be preparing a shrimp appetizer. So Barbara, I'm planning on making a coconut shrimp with a dipping sauce. What would be the benefit of buying raw shrimp versus cooked for using in a recipe, in a cooked recipe? What's okay. the benefit of that? Uh, the benefit with the raw shrimp is you're, if you're going to batter it like that, it's not going to overcook. Unless your recipe calls for a cooked shrimp, I would definitely use a raw shrimp. So raw shrimp is yes. probably the way to go for yes. that. That's Absolutely. great. That's great. And now, a good size shrimp. It, we, we had a little peek at the at the shrimp earlier. Some people might be a little put off by handling it and doing you know what you need to do to prep it for a recipe. Um, tell us a little bit more about uh, peeling and deveining a shrimp. What is that and is that something that you could have done at the grocery store? Yes, most grocery stores offer that service um, or you, they do sell a peeled and deveined shrimp. Um, the ones that are not peeled and deveined are actually called easy peel and they're split down the back, so all you really have to do is, is snip the end and pull the skin right off. So it's, it's not very difficult. easy. No, very it's easy. not difficult at all. It wouldn't take you long at all to do a I whole bunch of I can do a two-pound two bag in 10 minutes. Wow, that's awesome. So, yeah, so that, yeah, that's a goal for us. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, we're not going to just be uh, looking at shrimp. There's lots of other varieties of seafood that are offered in grocery stores in the seafood department. What do you think is probably the most popular kind of fish that people buy? What's the, What's the... Uh, well, the one that people come in for the most. Uh, salmon is our top seller, mm -hmm. um, is the top seller. The um, omega-3s and all the benefits of all that, yes. um, it is one of the top sellers. It's a little stronger of a fish versus a haddock or a cod. Those are oh, milder, okay. but definitely a salmon is.